Welcome to another Revel University video tutorial. This video will cover some of Revel's basic printer troubleshooting techniques. As with all of our tutorials, you can jump ahead to any topic that is most important to you. All of our videos have a table of contents listed below along with other video and support articles to help you along the way. So let's get started with the basics of printer troubleshooting. If you are having issues with your printer not printing properly, there are a few key things you can check. First, check if the printer has power and is turned on. If it is, you should see lights lit up on the front or the top of the printer. The location of the lights could vary based on the printer model. If the paper light is illuminated, the printer is likely out of paper or the paper is misaligned. In this case, make sure that the paper is properly positioned. To do so, take a look at the image on the inside of the printer, which will show you exactly how to position the spool. In a thermal printer, the shiny side of the paper should be face down in the printer. Sometimes paper can become misaligned within the printer. To fix this, remove the paper roll and when putting it back in, make sure the roll is secured all the way down so that the paper sensor inside of the paper well is pressed in. Then, make sure the top of the printer is closed all the way. To ensure this, you should hear a click when closing the printer. If the printer seems to have lost connection, first make sure that your printer has power. Then, log into the point of sale and go to Settings, About, and choose Hardware. Check if your printer says it's offline or online. If the printer says online, skip down to the next section. If the printer says offline, check that the ethernet cable is plugged into the back of the printer and is not loose on either end. The ethernet cable should plug into the back of the printer and then into the Revel router directly or a switch that plugs into the Revel router. There should be a power cord and if you have one, a cash drawer cable all plugged into the back of the printer. If the printer still says offline, check the IP address. To do this, go back to settings, about, then hardware, review the IP address to see what it should be, and then print the IP address from the printer to ensure it matches. To print the IP address from a thermal printer, turn the printer off and hold the paper feed button. Turn the printer back on and continue to hold the feed button until the printer starts printing. A receipt will print that displays the IP address of the printer. If it does not match what you see on your POS screen, you'll need to call support to reprogram the printer. To print the IP address off an impact kitchen printer, make sure that the printer is turned on. Find a pin and poke the reset button on the back of the printer and hold that button down for five seconds. A receipt will print with the printer's IP address. And if this does not match what you see on the POS screen, you'll need to call support to reprogram the printer. If the IP address matches, follow the ethernet cables again and make sure they're all plugged in and lead to the Revel router. If the issue is not resolved, call support for further troubleshooting. If your printer is redirecting to another printer, you'll need to log into the point of sale app and go to settings. Choose printers and select redirect. If redirect is enabled, then you must turn this off before the printer will start to print again at the appropriate printer. Otherwise, the POS will continue to print to the redirected printer. Next, see if auto redirect is enabled. If it is, see which printer it's redirecting to. If auto redirect is enabled, power cycle the printer that is not printing by turning it off and then turning it back on. If the kitchen printer is not printing items, check that the items are assigned to print to your kitchen printers and or displays. You can do this for items individually in the management console by clicking the pencil icon next to the product. Scroll down to the display print options and click the box for printers. You'll see all available kitchen print options. Select all that apply and save. You can also do this in bulk with the import export option. Check out that option linked below to assign printers to multiple products at a time. If your products are assigned to a printer and they still aren't printing to the kitchen, please call support at 415-744-1433 or email support at revelsystems.com to troubleshoot further. 
Wow, we just covered a lot about basic printer troubleshooting. We hope you found it helpful and were able to follow along to complete the necessary steps. If you have any additional questions, please visit the related knowledge-based articles or video tutorials linked below, or contact support at support.revelsystems.com. Thank you for watching another Revel University video tutorial.